Hey guys, welcome back to another Spy Family Sunday. Man, it feels like it's been a while since I've been able to say that, but we are here to review chapter 91 of the manga. Again, if you guys are liking the content here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the chapter. So this chapter starts off with Yor, Anya, and the grandparents that we met last chapter, Sigmund and Barbara. And I just love how well they're fitting into the family and into the world of spy family, even though obviously they're not officially Anya's grandparents. It's just really cute. They sort of dote on Anya for a moment and they're like, oh, you go to Eden Academy? And she's like, I do. Um, and so she's sort of bragging a little bit. And then they're like, oh, Yor, you must be on your way to work as well. Apparently, City Hall is throwing an event for veterans. So Anya goes to school and we get this panel of Sharon, Millie, and Camilla and they're carrying boxes. I don't remember what Camilla's boyfriend's name is uh, so I do apologize for that but he's there as well and they're helping move boxes. Millie's sort of complaining. She's like oh I don't think I can do this. These boxes are too heavy. Camilla's like hey but just think about this like there's gonna be actors here like maybe I can meet. Kevin is coming and we can be friends. Of course, her boyfriend gets a little jealous. He's like, ah, uh, I'd rather not. I can't really compete with a hunk like that. Yor comes up and she's like, we just have one more load that we have to get through guys and then we can go to lunch. And Millie's looking at her like, how are you carrying all these boxes? All of them are, you know, just kind of slacking off. And the director's like, okay guys, let's keep the griping to a minimum. You know, we need to get these boxes moved. Camilla starts complaining. She's like, ugh, I mean, as long as the Lady Patriots society Society doesn't show up because once they show up it's gonna get bad. The Lady Patriots are basically I guess Melinda Desmond's group of I wouldn't say friends but I guess this committee that she's on um, because Melinda's the chairman. Anyways Camilla and Sharon and Millie they don't like them at all. Yours like oh Melinda? She starts talking about her and Camilla's like you sound really familiar with her you do you actually know her? And yours like yeah I do like we met once and they're like you're lion. There's no way you know the former first lady. Like, get out of here. Yours, like, I do know her. We met once and we had tea. You know, Camilla's convinced that, you know, Melinda is just this evil person that does, like, all of these sacrificial rituals and, like, she's the devil and all of this. And yours just kind of like, mm, no, she's nice to me. They continue working and Millie sort of has this quiet moment where she's looking at the veterans and she's like, you know what? I don't think I can do this. She's like, I think I'm going to go back to the office and take care of some of the paperwork. And they're like, no, we dragged you out here. You barely volunteered last year. Yours like, hey, is something wrong with Millie? And Sharon is like, well, she really doesn't like. And then they're interrupted by the Lady Patriots. And they're like super condescending and telling them that they're not doing a good job. And they show up saying, hey, can you guys be a little more useful and move these boxes? You know, Camilla and Sharon are like, oh, you know, how absent-minded of us. Like, let's get these boxes, you know, moved as soon as as possible. Of course, the Lady Patriots are like, geez, young people today, like, how can they have so much disrespect for veterans that, you know, lay down their lives for the country? The least you could do is move some boxes. Millie sort of has a problem with this, and she's like, well, at least those soldiers survived and came back. Sharon and Camilla are like, dude, you can't be talking like that. They're gonna report you to the secret police. It's really cool because we finally get some character development for Millie, and she's like, you know, my father, he never came home. So, you know, what do you have to say about that. And of course the Lady Patriots are like, you are no different from the rest of us. All of us have suffered and your circumstances don't make you special. And you know, they're basically telling her that she's pitiful and sad because she knows nothing of the world. And Millie starts to turn away from the argument. Your sort of intervenes and she's like, yeah, we're not having any of that. And she's like, what is it about Millie that you find is pitiful and how is she worthless? Of course they're like, did you not hear anything we just said and she's like just like her you know I lost my parents in the war that's why I work really hard and your starts carrying like 10 boxes she's like see so please everybody grab 10 boxes each so that we can get this work done and lady patriots are like we can't do that we're not a gorilla like you and so your goes on to say so then why are you so convinced that Millie is the same as you they're basically having a generational argument about how the war has affected people and how they've suffered and of course you're gonna clash over those topics so it's like it's all about about, like different perspectives and learning from each other. Yor puts that front and center. But the point is like we're here today and we're all, you know, working as hard as we can. And 
Millie starts crying and she's sort of, you know, she respects Yor for saying that. The Lady Patriots, you know, they feel embarrassed and mocked. And so one of them tries to slap Yor and Melinda shows up and she's like, stop it. Like you're embarrassing yourself. And they're like, oh, chairwoman, like what are you, these brats, they're so rude. Like I, they need to know their place and all. Melinda sees Yor and she's like, Yor, you know, how have you been? And all that and they're catching up. And of course, Camilla and Sharon and Millie are just like, they actually know each other. All of this is great, but Millie says, you know, Yor, I really thought you were a good person, but how can you be associated with the Desmonds when they're the ones who started the war? This is the reason why my dad is dead. You can't be friends with people that are that evil. The director is like, it's shameful that you're so ignorant to your own history. It was Prime Minister Chapman at the start of the war and Desmond was the Prime Minister that followed. So the war wasn't actually his fault as far as we know. I mean, this is just what the director is saying. So technically it's not Desmond's fault, but we'll see as we get more chapters. Belinda starts talking and so she tries apologizing for that. She's like, I have a husband, I have a child. You know, I would feel a lot of anger and hate if I were to lose them. And so she sort of has like a heart to heart with Millie and then she sort of moves on because they're calling her away. She's needed for something for this event. And Millie's like, you know, she's like, wait, I shouldn't have said all that. And she apologizes and they go about what they were doing. You know, Millie says, you know, my dad died when I was really young and I never really got to know him. And so I've always been kind of lonely. And, but now I have this job and I get to work with all of you guys and you too, Yor. And she thanks her. And then they're all talking and having like a heart to heart. And it's just really cute. And Camilla's like, how can you be friends with the chairman? Like you don't even know, you just talk to her like normal. You have to be posh. And Yor's like, what does posh mean? So Sharon's like, you know what? I'll buy the drinks and then I'll explain all of that to you tonight. And then Camilla's boyfriend is like, when did you guys get so friendly? And it's so hilarious because at the end of the chapter, Yor comes home and she's like, cardia salutations, dearies. And Lloyd is like, what? And that's how the chapter ends. So really good chapter. It seems like we're getting a ton ton of character development for Yor. So I'm not sure if Endo Sensei is setting up a Yor arc, but that's sort of what it feels like. Maybe. I'm not sure if it's going to be a Melinda and Yor arc, but since this chapter heavily focused on war and conflict and the Desmonds and their their responsibility in that war, and the fact that we got to see Melinda this chapter, it makes me feel like maybe we are getting that Desmond arc. Oh, that would be so cool. I want to know more about this war. I want to know Desmond's actual place within it because at the start of the war it was Prime Minister Chapman. We haven't gotten any backstory on Chapman. We don't even know what he looks like but Desmond came in after that. So it's like what did Desmond do to where Millie would have such a strong reaction to your being friends with Melinda. So I feel like this is the start of a Desmond arc. I'm hoping but it was a fantastic chapter. Great character development for Millie. We knew little to nothing about her and now we know that her father was in the war he died and you know Millie feels lonely and she's glad to have her co-workers they're like her only family so it was just a great overall chapter a lot of world building just various relationships that um just keep getting better and better I can't predict what's gonna happen next chapter but maybe this is the start of this city hall arc where they're servicing the veterans maybe there's gonna be speeches maybe we'll get backstory but yeah I'm excited to see where this goes so yeah, thank you guys so much for listening and until next time, remember to be awesome and stay true.